I should have introduced State Representative Joe Havman. How rude of me. You're sitting right here in our AT&T studio, Republican from Holland. You were on a plane with her once, but you'd never met her. I should have just connected you right here. Oh, that's fine. It's great to hear her voice on the radio. Great to have her as our uh, Republican committee woman. Great. You got pipes of your own. You should have a radio show. Hey, maybe. I should think. I'm looking for a job in January. I should think. Well, if you want a guest host, we'd love to have you. You know, we have a lot of listeners in Holland, of course, and in the great Southwest, and we appreciate that very much. And from what, is it true that the state of Michigan could have to pay more than a billion dollar bill? I mean, I've been assessed before at Country yeah. Club of Lansing and where I live, but a billion dollars? Where are we going to get that? Well, we're, Why? We, uh, we've got that corrected. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm very happy with the bill that went through this week in both the House and the Senate. We took care of it as quickly as we could, but it was a little scary uh, last month or so when I heard that uh, potential problem out there uh, with the uh, the IBM uh, lawsuit that went through the Supreme Court. Some kind of tax loophole? Well, uh, it goes back to that, uh, what uh, Ron Romney was just talking about, about that Grand Home Shower era tax problem we had with the MBT, uh, that we we were sued on it, and uh, actually we had a potential. We have a $6 million liability with IBM that I believe we have to pay. We can't mm-hmm. get away from that. But if we had not corrected the tax loophole, mm-hmm. uh, the potential out there on the, on the big side was $1.1 billion dollars. So uh, having just finished the budget in the middle of June, uh, that was kind of a scary thought that we had to go back and, f- and, uh, and find that money somewhere in our general fund. That's over 10% of our general fund. Yeah. It would Amazing. have had a huge impact on the, on the state of Michigan. I'd like to pass a bill that when a bill comes, I don't have to pay it. That's essentially well, what happened? Um, it's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> Tax law say. always is, but uh, <laughs> but as as I said, we've corrected it and uh, we're we're moving on. That's really it. so. The governor would sign that uh, what sometime this week. I would certainly hope so. And you'll yeah. be there. I was there. I don't know if I'll be there or not. We we corrected it. I doubt if we'll have a ceremony for oh, that one. But, okay, because uh, it's a uh, little it's nothing little loophole fixed. Right, a big exactly. loophole actually. Yeah, it's a big loophole that. Uh, Caught us off guard. Uh, it was very nice reception yesterday at the governor's residence for your. It's your cousin, Jim Haven. Uh, Jim is my second cousin. My dad and he were cousins, and uh, yeah, I, I attended that reception. It was nice to uh, say goodbye to him with his family, and uh, it was a nice event. And Jim uh, deserved all the accolades that were laid on him. He's just a, a heck of a guy, and has been a mentor to me. Um, and I'm very proud to share the same last name with him. Nice seeing you there and nice seeing you here. He's Haveman, you're Haveman. Yeah. Same last name, different exactly. pronunciation. You bet. Please keep in close touch before you leave office. And if you do want a guest host sometime, we're here for All right. you. Thank you, sir. It's a deal. Joe Haveman, state representative at 26 after the hour.